Hey guys, this is Eli and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now just a quick video today, we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft counters, item counters and item packet transmitters. Now these things are really cool, they're basically circuits to count whatever you want in Minecraft, whether it's going to be button presses or counting items travelling down your hopper streams. Now there's a ton of different applications for things you may want to use these for, ranging from optimizing your storage areas, you might want to use them for super smelters, or if you're creating some kind of game in Minecraft and you want to keep a scoreboard, these might be the circuits for you. Now in this video we're going to be looking at three designs, all based on the same circuit, just different adaptations of them. So let's go ahead and get started. Design number one is a simple button press counter. Now this design is originally by a YouTuber called TT Sir Minecraft, and I think this thing is really fantastic. He's managed to compress this all into a very small space, and it's very easy to program as well. So say we want to press this button three times before we get an output, all you need to do is put three items into this dropper, and then if we just give this a test, press this three times, you should see that we get an output on this redstone lamp. Now I think what I really like about this design is it's actually self reset settings, so after we press this three times we get the output, this thing should reset back to its original state, ready to go again. So whether you're building a game or whatever contraption and you need some kind of button press counter, this is the design for you. Design number two is one of my own designs and it's basically a slight adaptation to design number one that now works for a hopper line. So we're actually going to count items passing along this hopper stream. Now we've just moved some of the redstone around a bit but it's the same principle, we have three items inside this dropper, so if we just throw three items into this hopper line then this should count them as they go along and that torch should turn off and we should get an output on this lamp. So this is perfect if you're building some kind of game where you need to count items that pass along a hopper stream or maybe this is for your storage room, maybe you're counting items going into your chests. Whatever system you're building, this might be the circuit for you. The third design is again one of my own designs and this thing is actually an item counter and item packet transmitter. Now what I mean by that is in the previous design if we threw in 50 items in this chest we would get a steady stream of 50 items coming into this output chest. What this one does is if we throw in 50 items and we specify that we only want packets of 5 items then it will actually store the items inside this hopper and it will only transmit 5 items into this chest at a time and there will be a small gap between those packets of 5 items which we can actually detect. So you might be asking yourself, why would I want to possibly do something like this? Well there's probably a thousand design ideas of things I haven't even thought of yet, but the one idea I did have was something I built in my single player series quite some time ago, and that's to use this item packet transmitter to optimize a super smelter. Now super smelters are fantastic contraptions, they typically smell items very fast and they contain a bunch of furnaces, but they all have this one problem in that if you had five furnaces here but you put in six items, one furnace typically always receives more items than the others, and you end up with this mismatch of coal where one furnace has next to no coal and the other furnaces have way too much. Now if you're like me, you have OCD and you're very anal about these things, you want to make sure you always have an even distribution of coal in all your furnaces at all times, then using an item packet transmitter can be the system for you. And what we can do is we can actually transmit multiples of five items into the system at any given time and that way we know we're always going to have the same amount of coal. So we can actually test this right now if we just throw in 60 iron ore into this system, we just let it run for a minute. This is going to be delivering, it's actually 10 items at a time, so 5 transmitting there and then 5 on the way back. So once this thing launches, we should get the items, everything should go on and we should get 2 in there, 2 in there, 2 in there, 2 in there and 2 in there. And you can see we've also got 61 coal in every single furnace. And just to show how awesome these things are, we've just popped into my single player series to check out the dual automatic super smelters. Now I've already thrown in a bunch of iron ore so it's currently underground working its way through the sorting system. It has to go through an item splitter to get divided into two and then it goes up some item elevators until it hits the item packet counter. And then once then it should get sent in minecarts into these furnaces so any moment now we should see them coming through. There we go, yes! These things are fantastic. This is so so, so cool. I feel like everyone should build these in their base. And you just know these ones are 10 times cooler because you know they have exactly the same amount of coal inside every single furnace. 
If you want to build sign number two, it is surprisingly simple and resource light. So start off with any kind of shape like this. Doesn't need to be exactly like this, but you will need three hoppers in a row. Now take the middle hopper. We're going to do a comparator coming out of that. In the side, we want to do a dropper facing downstream. Do a hopper into that dropper. And this is the dropper we're going to place as many items as we want to count. Next up, we want to take two comparators coming from the dropper and hopper. So we want two blocks here, two comparators on the top. On the side here, we want to do two hoppers facing into each other. So place them like so. And then do two solid blocks on the top. Now in this hopper on the right, just place a single item. Underneath, we need to take two comparators again. So we're going to take a block there and there. We're going to do a comparator coming out of the hopper and then a comparator coming out of this hopper here. Now, while we're over here, we want to do a block here and a block here, and then just do a piece of redstone dust there. And on this side, we need to do another block here and then a redstone torch on the top. If you want to build design number three, it is surprisingly simple to do. Just start with design number two and then make a very small modification. First, we're going to place a block on top of this torch here and then do a torch on the side, do a piece of redstone dust here. And then we just want to sever this connection. So place a block here. And believe it or not, that is all you need to do. This is enough to turn this item counter into an item packet transporter. If you want to do the minecart unloader, then it should look like this. And then we just have a single item inside this dropper. Well, that is all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you found this video helpful, then feel free to hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, then feel free to subscribe. I've been Eli. Thanks for watching.